Good afternoon. One more time. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. Everybody stand up for a second. Get a little few juices flowing. I know you've been sitting for a long time. I was, even though it was great information, I, I might have been dozing off a little bit. So get the blood flowing a little bit. I appreciate that. Um, one more round of applause for our panel. They were great. Um, you can go ahead and sit down. As long as everything's flowing now. Got a little blood flowing. Get that auction juice going because we're going to do that in a second here. Um, I want to talk to you just a little bit about Aria. Um, here's, that, here's the second commercial break. Uh, Evan had the first one, this is the second one. Um, a little bit about Aria because I think it's important that everybody in the room know a little bit about us. Our organization's been around for eight years and you got to meet the OG, the original gangster, uh, Alan. Alan, some of you got that, some of you didn't. Uh, ask your friend um, <clears throat> who actually founded the organization. I'm the national chairman. Uh, we have about 20,000 members nationwide. And we'll end the year with about 25 chapters. Um, Alan spoke very highly of Andrew. The chapter here has, has just exploded, done a very good job. Um, probably has the third most membership after only uh, less than a year, right? Uh, so great job, Andrew. We have about one chapter that just launched. Christine Kim is in the front row with us. She's the Silicon Valley chapter that just launched. Um, doing a good job. Thank you, Christine. Um, we have two national conferences. We're talking a little bit about conferences, two a year. One in D.C. in March, which is our legislative conference. We did this year with NAREP and NAREP. Um, I explained who that was earlier. And uh, we did get about 800 to 1,000 people there. Uh, made numerous trips to Capitol Hill, met with Sheila Baer, met with Dave Stevens, the FHA commissioner. Sheila Baer, as you know, is the FDIC chairman. Um, got our voice really heard on the Hill this year and, and had a significant time there. Uh, very good conference. I would encourage you all. It's in March of every year in D.C. We're at the Ritz-Carlton. I'd encourage you all to join us for that conference. The one coming up in October we do in Las Vegas. That's my hometown. Um, we're at the Bellagio this year. We get about 2,500 people to that conference. You'll see some of these faces. We do an REO section. We do a short sell section. So if you've been to Rio Mac, if you've been to our NRBA, if you've been to well, just about anything, you want to come to our conference. Um, being Asian, it's low priced. We're very frugal, so it's only <laughs> it's only three ninety five as opposed to eight hundred dollars at some of the other conferences. So so come out and join us. I, I think you'll have a, a, a really really good time. Um, <clears throat> uh, I want to put something to rest, just like uh, Zaretha did earlier. I'm Asian, so I put that to rest. I mean, she she was very uh, uh, worried about uh, everybody understanding who she was. Um, we do we do three things at Aria, and I think we do them pretty well. The first is education. So an event like today uh, that is put on uh, bringing in some esteemed speakers from around the country, um, putting together, you know, it looks like a couple hundred people in the room, uh, bringing some uh, talented people uh, together uh, and learning something. Who, did somebody, everybody learn something? Everybody raise their hands? That's what we do, okay? The second piece is networking. It's an opportunity. Uh, we did this in Vegas, and, and we had a room like this with about 700 people in it. And we asked everybody to meet somebody they didn't know. They were all Las Vegas realtors, Las Vegas professionals. But if you have a REO listing, and it's listed by somebody you just met or you've networked with, what are the, you know, it seems like you have a little bit better chance of getting some information uh, that might be helpful to you. Nothing against RESPA. All in compliance. <laughs> But your networking never hurts. That's the second thing. The third thing we do is legislation. I don't want to talk about this because you heard Alan earlier say that he faced discrimination just as, just as short a time as though it was about you know, 30 years ago. Um, my parents couldn't own land. And, and we've come a long way in, in our lifetimes. Um, and this legislative piece is very important. Yesterday I was in L.A. with um, the Assistant Secretary, John Trasvinia, for the Fair Housing and Equal Opportunity Office of HUD. And we signed an MOU, ARIA did sign an MOU with HUD yesterday, addressing discrimination in, in housing practices. So I heard some astounding statistics yesterday. 20% of Asians, when they go to rent or buy, experience some form of discrimination. Uh, they pay more, they have to fill out an application that costs more to, to run credit, they get denied, denied housing immediately. The interesting thing about the 20%, is 1% reported. So the Asian community is a, a culturally probably not the whistleblower. You're probably not going to get the whistleblower. But HUD, HUD, HUD identified that in ARIA 
and the, the membership, the practitioners of Arya, in the next year, will be charged with going out to the community and having them identify what discrimination looks like, what it feels like. Some of them didn't even know they were discriminated against. It was just a HUD survey that pointed out what discrimination looks like and feels like. And so, by doing that with HUD, now we have 20,000 members nationwide that go out to the community and have them understand what discrimination is and report it. And that reporting is then investigated by HUD and passed down some, some pretty heavy fines and levies. Um, but that's the kind of thing legislatively that ARIA does, that we don't see necessarily on the local level, but it's happening on the, uh, on the national level. So I'd encourage you all, for the, at least for those three reasons, to get involved with ARIA. It is, it is definitely an opportunity to learn something, education. It's definitely an opportunity to meet somebody that you don't know. And the third is, you know, to have a voice, to, to make a difference in the community. Those are the three things we do with ARIA. Um, the last thing I wanted to do is, does, does somebody have a business card? Room full of realtors? Anybody have a business card? Okay. I just want to. I just want to exchange business cards with you. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. That's typical transaction, right? We exchange business cards, and in America, we take the business card and we put it in our pocket. That's what we do, right? You. I just showed you a Stella. Is that a Stella? Uh, great disrespect by putting your card in my pocket. What do you put on your card? Your name, your address, your phone number, your email address, your picture. Most realtors have a picture from 25 years ago, but <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. I'm a shot, Boa. Um, in the Asian community, as soon as you put that card, this is me, my card is me. I, I put everything I want you to know about me on that card. And the first thing I do is shove it in my pocket. Thank you. Shove it in your pocket. Because in America, we're accustomed to doing business eye to eye, face to face. Turn your shoulders to the person. Shake their hand for them. Look them in the eye. Right? In the Asian community, well, this is representative of me. And you've just now shown me great disrespect by putting it in your pocket. I do that because I want you not to blow up a deal before it happens. Right? Some Asians, you'll give them the card in a particular way, which I'll show you, and they'll go, yeah, whatever, and put it in their pocket. But that those, those Asian practitioners, those Asian clients that are sensitive to it, you may blow up a deal before it can start. Okay? So we'll exchange cards one more time, and then I'll show you how to do it. Okay? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay, so uh, uh, proper way, buy, buy my, my business card, um, double-sided because you have a non-profit side and a for-profit side. Um, this is the RA side, <laughs> because ultimately I am a businessman, so. Um, okay, we take two thumbs, two thumbs up, present it, I give you yours, you, you just, see? and what we generally do is take a look at the card. Oh, hold on. I gotta get your, your other card out. Oh, you're with McMartin Realty. How long have you been there? Uh, yeah. And uh, where, what areas do you serve? Okay, so a couple of questions that engages her to talk about herself. What's on her card? I've just shown her some respect by saying, I value this information. I'm allowing you to talk to me about it. Okay, that's powerful. It's nice. You end up doing the same. We talk to, talk a little bit about that. There's nothing good on that card. So. <laughs> great. See, that, that, it's, a, it's a great. It's a, yeah. I just launched that company. Um, um, so, so some of those things are the things you'll learn by being affiliated or associated with Aria. I would encourage you all. To, to come to more of these types of meetings, support Andrew and Evan and Mark and, and Randall and, and Zaretha, all, all, all the people that are associated, they've done a great job launching the strategy. I think you'll learn something. I think you'll get business from it. And I think in the end, yeah, you'll end up being a better practitioner. And that's what we're after. All right? Thank you all for your time. Thank you guys. Thank you.